established in 1978 to reach the unchurched people of North Lawndale with the gospel of Jesus Christ, Lawndale Community Church has been effectively living out their witness by providing relevant responses to the needs of those in the community. Responses such as health care in an atmosphere of Christian love with 35 full-time staff seeing over 40,000 patients a year. Education, which models and challenges students to moral and academic excellence. Leadership development, raising up a new generation of men and women who can creatively challenge the real problems we face as a society. Youth ministry that serves as a source of spiritual encouragement and support to young people in the community. And benevolence that meets the basic needs of food, clothing and shelter. Chicago's North Lawndale community has seen a dramatic shift in its demographics and population over the last 30 years. In the 1950s, North Lawndale had a population estimated at 125,000. Today, that figure has shrunk to under 50,000 residents. More importantly, the North Lawndale area lost over 50% of its available housing units during that period of time. In 1986, Figures show that the entire city of Chicago had over 7,000 vacant lots, and over 1,000 of those lots were located in North Lawndale. Despite the decrease in population, the result has been a dramatic shortage of adequate, available, and affordable housing. Uh, Lawndale Community Church began our housing ministry uh, when so many of our people in our church, almost everyone was living in inadequate housing, and no one else was fixing houses or doing anything and the buildings were being torn down instead of being rehabbed. So that's when we thought let's us try to see what we can do to uh, improve the housing stock and to give adequate and affordable housing you know, for the people of our community. And That's very difficult to do. In early 1987, the Lawndale Community Church responded to the problem of affordable housing for the working poor by targeting one of the most notorious streets on Chicago's west side. In the previous year, the 2200 block of South Avers Avenue made headlines for its drug dealing. It was a street which people did not choose to move to. Marquette 10 was a big drug bust in the very early 80s in which there was uh, several police officers that were caught for buying drugs and in which there was a couple kingpin drug dealers also that were uh, put in prison. And it gave the street, uh, for many years prior to that and up until that point in time, it gave the street a very bad reputation for its drug trafficking. Now since then, there's been, uh, people want to live on our block. This is five years later now, people want to live on this block. And we never attacked the drug dealers. We never said, get out of here. We never said, get rid of your stuff. We never did anything like that. We bought one of the buildings from the drug dealers. And there was other buildings on the block that were also involved in the drug dealing. But we never, never uh, approached or attacked these people at all. All we did was we come, came on the block, started doing some housing rehab, and started to be salt and light on the block in the name of Jesus. And the stuff moved. And I, I grew up here in Londale. And on this block, it was known for notorious for drugs and all the other stuff. And I was really, really frightened to move on this block. But I had never been in the back of the house. I had viewed it from the upstairs. But we walked through the uh, gangway. We got back here in the back, and it was just full of garbage and tires and beer cans and weeds. It was awful. And then I happened to just look in the corner of my eye as I got to the end. It was this beautiful flower that had bloomed, and it was white. And it just smelled so good. It's just, I mean, through all that garbage, this flower was so beautiful. And I just, I was just so touched that God had gave me a sign that he could take care of me here. With a goal of helping low-income families own their home, the Lawndale Community Church established the Lawndale Christian Development Corporation. The idea is to provide owner-occupied rehab property for approximately the same amount as most residents pay in rent. Through a lease purchase program, working families pay rent plus a $50 a month option fee which goes toward a down payment. Within 18 months to three years, the occupant is able to afford a 5% down payment on the property. In exchange, the family is required to assist in the rehab project by contributing a minimum of 200 hours of sweat equity 
attend ownership education classes, and assume responsibility for maintenance of the building once rehab has been completed. Churches can become involved in our Lawndale housing program by providing labor and financing. Uh, what happens is a group becomes interested in our, in our housing rehab program, helping an individual family own their own home. That's the key, is an individual family owning their own home, and uh, the church becomes linked with that family in a very personal way. And they provide financing, and they also come for about nine work Saturdays out of a 14 to 18 week work schedule. Normally we'll do work on a two flat or a three flat, sometimes on a single family house, and the groups uh, come and they, they donate their labor. They come for nine Saturdays. We'll usually work from about eight till one, and the groups will come, and it's just a wonderful relationship that gets developed between the future homeowner and the, the group that's providing the resources. For me, I, I think many people don't have a total vision for what, what, just how significant this project is. To me, no, having known the Turner family for a number of years and knowing what it's going to take to turn around a neighborhood like this, of, of keeping um, solid, established Christian families able to stay here in the neighborhood in good housing, that to me is the exciting part that can not only benefit the Turner family, but can have an impact on the whole neighborhood, I think. It's exciting to be the shepherding pastor at the Lawndale Community Church, a church that's really involved in holistic ministry. It's exciting also to see how the Development Corporation has really come on with its lease purchase program, to see how they've gotten into the community there and help people to purchase homes that normally thought, hey, I can't purchase a home. It's so good to see how they get in also with the sweat equity, our Development Corporation and the community working together to make that happen. The Lawndale Christian Development Corporation's Rehab for Ownership program involves a considerable amount of time, resources, and commitment. But the reality is the impact on individual lives. Larry and Regina Turner and their three children are an excellent example. My own home is my home where my family lives and we own it. Well, it made me feel that God is really taking care of us as a family, as a Christian family. He has blessed us in many ways and uh, now he's uh, about to give us even a larger blessing and that we can be a part of building this house and having friends and neighbors participate also. It's very important that uh, the community had an input, not only that the family and the church, but the community played a, a big role in helping build a home that we can live in. I have a vested interest in this community. Uh, after the 1968 riots, my family and I moved away. Um, the Rehab for Ownership program is an outstanding idea from the standpoint that it's going to bring people who were outside the community back into the community. I was in the original leadership development class that we had at the Lawndale Community Church, and um, Pastor Gordon asked me to come back into the community, and I've come back. But the reason I come back is we want to build community and neighborhood and not just build these fragmented pieces in different areas of North Lawndale, but we want to bring it all into one cohesive unit and uh, develop community. And that's why I've been back. In most cases, rehab projects take an average of 14 to 18 weeks to complete. At the end of that period, a celebration is held and occupancy is turned over to the prospective homeowner. It's a time of joy and thanksgiving to God for the many helping hands which turned a building ready for demolition into a beautiful home. To the Turner family, this salt represents Jesus Christ. And as long as you have this salt and his word in your heart, it would never, ever lose its flavor. So let me just sprinkle a little bit of <laughs> Loving God and loving people more than just a motto. For the people of North Lawndale, it's a tangible reality.